Hello fellow YouTubers, did you ever want to learn how to just draw on your PC like this? Well in this YouTube video, I'll show you step by step how you can do that. What you're going to want to do after you turn on your PC is you're going to want to enter your PC BIOS. The BIOS can be easily accessed by pressing one of the keys on your keyboard. Uh, for my motherboard, it's Delete, for example. Some other motherboards is F12. You're going to have to refer to the manual of your motherboard or your PC manufacturer to figure out which key it is to enter your BIOS. As you can see, I do have a full color BIOS. Most BIOSes do not look like this. Most of them are either black and white, blue and white, and yellow. Uh, but my particular one has got a full color. But the concept still applies. Now, this instruction manual, this instructional video is going to be more towards the ASUS ROG ROG series motherboards because I am using an ROG BIOS but again the same concept applies with all other motherboards so just refer to your manual to find these functions if your motherboard doesn't have any of these functions there's a chance that your motherboard does not support wake on LAN which should mean your motherboard is probably fairly old or your computer is fairly old but for this configuration this BIOS you're going to want to go over to the advanced tab and you're going to want to go down to power on by PCIe. The reason for this is because the network controller for my specific motherboard is located on the PCI bus. So you're going to want to enable that and you're all done for the BIOS. So you're just going to want to go ahead and click save, changes, and reset. Now that we have your Wake on LAN configured in the BIOS, we're going to want to configure your network interface card in your Windows environment. In order to do that, we just need to access the properties of it. So go ahead and go to your Start Org, Control Panel, Network and Internet, Network and Sharing, and Change Adapter Settings. Here you'll see a little box. You're saying your local area connection network and whatever your NIC is, whether it be Intel or Realtek. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right click that and click properties. Here you get a window just like this. Go ahead and click configure right at the top. And then we get another box with a bunch of other tabs on the top with general, advanced, driver, details, and power management. We're just going to concentrate on the power management tab. Go ahead and click that. By default, the only two enabled would be the top two. If they're not enabled, go ahead and check them to enable them. And you're going to want to also enable a third one. This is going to allow the Wake on LAN functionality to work by sending a magic packet to your NIC, your network interface card, to allow your computer to wake up over a network. Go ahead and click OK. Then you're going to want to go ahead and exit out of this window. And now for the last step, we're going to want to find an application that allows you to use the Wake on LAN functionality from your phone. For this example, I'm using an application called iShutdown. This can be easily downloaded in the App Marketplace. What you want to do is you're going to want to download and install the application, obviously, on your phone. And you're going to want to install it on your computer as well. The reason you want to install the application on your computer is to make the application easier to find your computer as well as give you functionalities like shutdown, restart, pause, hibernate, and all the other features. And this application, as obvious, has the wake on LAN functionality. So as soon as you have that installed, you're going to end up getting to a screen like this, or at least looks like this. And as you can see, it has the power button and the reset button. Because my computer is already on, there's already a light there, an indication light at the top right, and I can go ahead and just shut off my computer computer this way. If you need any help or instructions, they have a great help tab that shows you how to install the application on your computer and how to get that configured. As for everything else, we have the Wake on LAN functionality already configured on our computer. So none of this is really important. As you can see on the host tab, you can add as many hosts as you want. So you can see there's my computer. And we have a bunch of different functions down here. We have the shutdown, restart, sleep, hibernate, wake on LAN. Everything above the wake on LAN tab uses the application on your computer to do these actions. Wake on LAN, 
because your computer's off, clearly doesn't use any applications. Rather, it uses the wake on LAN functionality that we enabled through the BIOS, as well as our network controller. So, what I'll go ahead and do is I'll go ahead and shut off my PC. And as you can see, the PC is now shutting off. The shutdown, like I said, uses just the application in the computer that you recently installed, so this application will work. Now we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and boot up the PC using the wake on land functionality. As you can see, wake on land works now. Now if you follow the instructions correctly in this video, your computer will now do the same thing. If you have any questions, just leave a go ahead and leave a comment and I'll respond to you as soon as possible. I hope this video has been really helpful on getting your wake on land functionality to work with your phone. Uh, personally, I don't use this too often, but when I do, I use it when I enter my house. That way, when I come in and I'm already just want to get on my computer, I can turn my computer on before I even get home, or if I forget to turn off my computer, I don't have to run all the way back upstairs just to turn my computer off. I can just disable it from my phone. Again, I hope this video has helped. Thank you for watching.